Hey guys, my Shafe here, so to another video, and today we are reacting to the biggest lies I've told by uh, Wolfie Chu. It is 10.53 in the morning. Um, I, I just got way too excited because if you look over here, there's my like playlist. These are all the videos I want to get through with these two weeks. There's going to be a lot. So I just got really excited and I just want to get these videos done. See what y'all think, and you know, just get paid. So, um, yeah, hope y'all enjoy this video. Subscribe, like, and comment to Wolfie Chew and myself. And, um, yeah, straight to the video. Hi, everyone, this is Wolfie Chew. What's up, Wolfie Chew? Before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly remind you all that I finally have my own merch. I'm very excited. Go buy our merch, this. guys. I have like a face on it. The new store and pre -order I know I'm Wolfie gonna Chew buy it, most likely. Socket, it would really mean a lot to me. Now, on to the video. I think it's safe to say that everybody in their life at some point has told at least one lie. Maybe I've you told, told too many lies. Maybe you hamster ate your homework when you actually just forgot to do it. Or you pretended to be sick so that you wouldn't have to go to school <coughs> that day. Sick. When I was little, I was always told that lying is bad and that you should never lie to anyone. I mean, I I'm, I'm changing my hat. I was two-shoes when I was younger and I did not like getting in trouble for any reason. Although lying when I got in trouble, I just I do, got in honestly, trouble. I wasn't faced. someone about something, it's always just made me feel like a horrible human being. It wasn't but me. there are a few bad lies that I remember telling when I was younger that even today I have no idea what made me say those things. When I, I mean, for me, I just lied automatically. I family owned any pets, I really, really wanted a pet dog more than anything in the world. When I was a kid, pretty much every toy I owned was a dog, and I would watch any cartoon or movie as long Crypto as there was a Crypto to super dog. dog. I wanted my own puppy so badly, somehow I believed that surely eventually my mom would end up getting us one. I remember when I was trying to convince her to get a dog, I would tell her things like how she wouldn't even have to buy a food bowl because she could use my spare Barbie cereal bowl instead. Anyway, since I was so sure that I would end up getting a dog, I told everyone at school that I had Don't. a new puppy. Even now, I do not know what made me lie about that. Wait, that makes no sense. I made up stories about my dog. Her name was Angel, and she was a golden retriever that I would take for walks every day. Bro, that that's a huge. Fetch, and every night, she would sleep on my bed with me. One day, when I was walking to school, I even decided to tell everyone that my dog had just had puppies, and I got really excited about telling you. You got excited over your own lie. I was up for a few months until one day, my mom decided to organize for a bunch of people from my class to come over to my house for a little party. They want to see that big boy. I was boy. super excited at first, but then I realized these were all people who were coming to my house and expecting to meet my imaginary dog I talked so much about. I was really scared about having them all find Just out that say I was it died about having or something a pet, like that. so I had to think of a good reason why there was no dog in my house. So I tried to come up with the most clever excuse I could think of, and I told everyone the morning before they came to my house. I told them that my dog had been sniffing the ground, and an ant went up her nose, and my dog died. Thinking back, Wait, that makes no this sense. was the dumbest thing I could have done, but it went I didn't think any nose. of my classmates questioned was it. it. I guess just because of how young we were. You would think that I would have learnt my lesson, but this actually wasn't the last dog-related lie I told Why are these all dog-related? A couple of years later, one of my best friends from school told me that her dog had just had puppies and her mom was looking for homes for them all. This was super exciting news. Now's and your I chance. This is a perfect opportunity for me. So I said to my friend, You know, my mom has been thinking about getting a dog. No, this she was, hasn't. Of course, a lie. We had already owned cats for a few years by this point, and my mom I mean, didn't cats are amazing. get any more pets. They don't take that long. I still just no, really, really, really wanted a much. dog. I went over to Time my friend's house hands. and saw all of the puppies, and I fell in love with this one adorable little black and white puppy that fell asleep on my lap. My friend's mom told me that this puppy was very shy and usually wouldn't let any strangers pet her. So I felt like this was a very big deal, that this yeah. puppy chose me. <laughs> I was convinced you're the, you're the chosen that the moment one. my mom would see this dog, she would feel the same way about her as me. So I told my friend's mom that my mom would like to adopt a puppy. <laughs> You can probably already guess, though, when I got 
home and told my mom about the puppy, she told me that no, we would not Boy, you ain't getting no freaking puppy today. So my dreams get crushed Got some cats. Right there. You can take those. I thought that maybe she would change her mind once she actually saw the puppy. So I That's decided not how it works. to keep this a secret from my friend right up until the day where I would take the dog home. But then, on the next school morning, while all of the parents were waiting with us outside the school for the bell to ring, my friend came running up to my mom and she asked her all excitedly, You're gonna keep one of my puppies? I stood there feeling like... Frozen oh, like, no. ooh, I just mm, messed up. <laughs> my friend was very confused when my mom told her that we weren't taking the dog. I told her later that my mom had just changed our minds about it and I felt really bad because they actually turned down some other people who wanted to get that puppy because they were holding her for me. My mom never said anything to me, but I'm pretty sure she knew what I did. She was, I never I, got a formal punishment for doing this, but... I mean, of course you're not going to get a punishment for your child. I did end up getting a dog, which is I mean, to the be honest, I got a punishment of all. I was like anyway, the moral of the story is don't deprive me of a dog. And those are my lying stories. I know that they both ended up being about dogs. I guess I've just always been... Did you not lie when you were like a teenager or something? Puppy. I hope you enjoyed anyways. Also, my boyfriend just posted a brand new music video on his Called channel. Called Coney Island. You go check it out because we had a lot of fun exactly. making it. The link will be in the description down below. And don't forget if you... So look, I hope y'all had an amazing day. I know I'm probably going to go back to sleep after I'm done recording everything. Um, So yeah, have y'all ever lied before? I have lied for probably all my life. Um, Like, I'm not like a big liar now. Like, I'm... I tell the truth, but like when I was 10 and down, woo, I was a liar. I was getting some booty woofies. So um, have a great day. Subscribe, like, comment to Wolfie Chew and myself. And um, yeah, goodbye, my fellow reactors.